Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami Din in the last episode. We bloomed all the trees in Kamiki Village, got a bunch of praise, helped out Mrs. Orange as well, got cheated out of seeing Mr. Orange's dance, came out here to Shinshu Field, restored everything back to how it was, and still had time to practice our balancing act before dark. In this episode, we are going to be checking out Shinshu Field and see what has changed in the past nine months of continuity. So, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and go around this area counterclockwise, opposite to how I did it in Okami, because we need to go see the Nameless Man and turn in that manifest that we completed. Oh my word, these are my stolen pottery items. I can't believe you found them all. What a relief. All right, now it's time to get back to sculpting. Thanks a lot. All in a day's work for the son of Susano, eh, mutt? And for that, we're going to get a butt ton of... Butt ton of... Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, we get a ton of praise for that. Almost got us to a level. Not quite, but we're really close, meaning that just a few menial tasks should be able to get us there. Now, there is another manifest waiting for us over there. I do know about it right now. It actually has to do with the holy icon that we already found. But I don't want to do that quite yet because there's more interesting stuff for us to do over here first. And it doesn't really matter if you get the holy icons before or after that point. So we're going to take care of this first. Yeah, my voice always cracks. But yes, right here we have yet another Nirvana hole. And when you know it, it also has a holy icon. So there's holy icon number two out of seven right there. Hope you don't mind the spoiler, there's seven of them. I don't really think it's that big of a deal that there's just X number of collectibles in a given thing. As always, you got these stumps over here, which you cannot rejuvenate back in. Just like an Okami, unfortunately. Over here, we have a small cursed zone that was left over from the Divine Intervention. Thought you could slip between the cracks, did ya? Well, I'm here to plant flowers on you. I don't know, I'm just being weird. Oh, look at that, we're like a pixel away from a level. Ah, eh, well, holy icon number three. Can't really complain too much since we got more collectibles out of that. But yeah, as you can guess, if you know what you're doing, the collectibles do go by rather fast. But right here we have another curse zone, and I think this is going to get us a level. Come on. That got us a tree, so no collectible there. So it's only got us a measly tree. It better give us a freaking level. Indeed it did. All right. So that was not a complete waste of time, because seriously, who likes the trees? No, I'm kidding. The whole point is to restore nature's beauty to the world, I know. Let's do that. Restore nature's beauty to the world, have a good time, and get into a random battle. And wow, um, three red imps. This is actually very good for me that I ran into this because those demon bones are actually going to be getting a use rather soon. And because of that, it's a very good thing that I ran into this. I ran into these guys, rather, because that means that I'm going to be able to get a lot of freaking demon bones. So, so if you want, you can take this time to do a few random battles. I guess it's good that I got into one right here just so I could do this. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the battle, because we fought these enemies quite a few times already. And you guys know how to fight them. I've already taught you all the tips. And there we go! Three demon bones in one battle. So, I've actually heard your criticisms on saying that I'm saying so yeah quite a bit more than I should, I guess. I've been saying... That and I've been saying I guess as well a lot more than I should. So I'm going to try to break myself of that because I will admit that I have been saying that a lot more than I normally do. I guess. No, I'm kidding. Anyway. So, I don't believe there's anything worse over... Oh, right over here. Dandelions. We can't take care of this yet. It says, well, don't you want to see a breeze blow its puff off? Okay. Those actually, unfortunately, replace the clovers in Okami Din. The thing is, Clover Studio, which was a subsidiary of Capcom that developed Okami, they did not get to work on this installment. The reason for that is that they were dissolved because a lot of its key people, like Hideki Kamiya, who was the director of Okami, left. Now, I still think Okami Din's a good game despite this. Um, I'm not saying that, like, you know, it's okay that they're not involved. You know, that, like, you know... What am I saying? I'm not saying that it's a good thing they weren't involved. I'm just saying that I think Okami Din is a good game despite this. And even though I'd love to see Hideki Kamiya return to working on the Okami series, I do think that this was still a pretty good game, despite that. But, um, if you actually want to know what they're up to now, uh, Hideki Kamiya is actually one of the heads of Platinum Games, who have made games such as Bayonetta. Uh, with his, during his days at Capcom, he made other stuff like Beautiful Joe and Devil May Cry's 1 and 3. Not the new one, nor uh, 2 or 4. 
And as of right now, he is working on Project P100 in, a, in affiliation with Nintendo, which is going to be um, one of the Wii U launch library, uh, launch, library, launch library titles. All right, for doing that, sorry about the interruption there, we got Holy Icon number five. And I can't go behind this house right here, but this is actually where that SOS was coming from. So what do you say we head inside really quick? This is home of the Pyrotechnist. The Pyro. Come on, wheeze, cough, wheeze. Yes, I had to literally read those. Tama, what's wrong? Cooney, I didn't want you to see me like this. It looks like I caught a really bad bug. Are you taking any medicine? They say that medicine from Yakushi Village works wonders. Medicine from Yakushi Village? You've got to be kidding me. There's no way I'm taking that stuff. <laughs> Why not? Just look at you. You're in terrible shape. <laughs> no thank you. Just leave me be. Well, that's definitely no good. I wonder why he's so against taking some medicine. We can't just leave him like this. Maybe we bring him some, he'll take it. Alright, so we have been given yet another objective here. This is actually what you're required to do. This is not a side quest, just in case you're wondering. How about Yakushi Village Mutt? They have this guy, Dr. Redbeard, who can cure almost any disease. He can mix medicines like no one else. We want medicine that works, we need to find him. Alright, so... Uh, right here, this device looks like pretty worn. It's pretty sturdy, though. A craftsman is really dependent on his tools, isn't he? If you see that thing on the wall over there, that's a bit of foreshadowing. But, yeah. There I go saying, but yeah, again. I'm really trying to break myself of that. Trust me. I'm trying. I understand it. It's fair criticism to say that I'm saying it a lot, because I have been, okay? So, excuse me. Anyway, uh, we are... Anyway, we've actually had a random battle that I showed in this, and I didn't show off the exorcism, so how about... How about we actually show that right now? Yes. Boom! Yeah, you really wreck the enemies when you do that. As you can see there, that made it so that we could get rid of the red imps in just two additional hits. Not even combo hits, just regular hits. So... Those things are really overpowered. Of course, though, they are very expensive, and it's not like the battles are really that difficult to begin with, so... Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend picking them up. If you get one for free, maybe you might want to use it if you just want to get through a battle quickly, but... What do you mean it don't work well with others? That's actually the worst rank we've seen so far for me. So that's our first... Our... My first time. I'm trying to pin my bad playing on you. Um, you might actually have to worry about that, because... Bad... Uh, Using items like that cuts the battle too short and doesn't let your partner attack enough times to get the ranking up, so you're going to get less money from battles where you do that. But as you can see right here, we actually have a required battle, so I'm going to show this. A lot of battles in this video, a lot more than usual, because we actually haven't had very many battles. Right here, we have the introduction of Yellow Imps. This is actually the enemy that we saw, if you remember, on the Power Slash scroll where it was telling us to deflect projectiles. As you see right there, he launches skulls at you. What you want to do is... When he launches it, you want to use the Celestial Brush to hit him with it. And I actually think I might have screwed that up. No, I didn't. It still got launched back, even though I didn't get to attack him. Uh, but yes, the Yellow Imp. I actually would like to talk about this enemy a bit. If you look at the symbols on the Imp's faces, they actually have meaning. In Okami, they had the Iroha, a Japanese poetic sequence of characters. In this one because the enemies are a bit younger and weaker, they have various toys for their weapon, things that resemble toys for their weapons, and their faces are Hanafuda cards. Uh, Hanafuda were, um, Hanafuda is a card game, and Nintendo actually manufactured cards for it back in the 1800s when the company was founded, long before they made video games. So, interesting bit of trivia right there, this references Hanafuda with its enemies. And, shut up. But as you might have guessed, we don't have the floral finisher for the yellow imp quite yet, so we're going to have to wait a bit on that. We'll hop through this portal, and we have just a little bit of Kamiki Village left to show. The last little bit of it is right over here, which as you might remember, which I actually probably shouldn't talk like that because I know that there's viewers who have not watched the first Okami, and I'm trying to make it so that you don't outright need to watch my Let's Play of Okami to understand everything in this one. Over here, this was the home, 
I think you can actually check it. Yeah. You may not be able to tell, but this used to be a nice dojo. A nice old man lived here. He moved away a long time ago. There was something he used to say. What was it? Oh, yeah, I remember now. The path of the warrior will only appear to those who are ready to put in practice. Okay. But yes, uh, the dojo is no longer in Okamiden. You just kind of naturally have all of your moves from the beginning now, which... Granted, even though you don't have quite as many moves as Ami did, not too many games are ballsy enough to give you all your moves, like such as the dodge right off the bat, because, yeah. In this room, this Nirvana hole... Hey, look, it's nice! Let's touch it! No. Can't do that. We, unfortunately, can't do anything about this quite yet. We're gonna have to come back for it later. If you're not missing anything, you outright cannot get whatever is in that room quite yet. Nothing for us down there on those slopes. So what do you say we go to the last place that we haven't gone, which is on top of this cliff? Well, actually, there's two places we haven't gone, but... Nonetheless! We'll just go up on top of this cliff, and let's see what there is to offer. Agata Forest this way. Can't do anything about that, but... We head over here. We have yet another small curse zone that we can bloom. Good, for those guardian... For those cutscenes with the guardian sapling coming back and the divine intervention being so huge, it sure leaves a lot of little holes. I mean, like, you think that that would be just, like, super absolute with how it looks, but it seems to just leave a lot of holes to be filled in by us. As you see right there, that cave connects to Agata Forest. Waterway used to connect to Agata Forest before the earthquake. Lucky for us, that earthquake gave us another path, so that would take us to Agata Forest, but... Whoa, 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 Dang it. Alright, now that we're done with that, there's actually something that I wanted to bring up real quick. Now... You might remember that I criticized the brush looking of it crayon-like in Okamiden. There was actually a comment that got a lot of thumbs up a few videos ago that brought up a really good point, and that is the fact that in Okami, and just I guess in Japan in general, you see a lot of children drawing with charcoal. And when you really think about it, it looks more like charcoal than it does a crayon. So, because Chibi is a cub, it honestly makes more sense why Chibi Celestial Brush would look more like charcoal than ink. Even though, it, uh, the, even though it is outright ink pots in the menus, I do get where they were coming from now that people pointed that out. And I really do appreciate that being pointed out because I never actually got that before. But right here, we have Holy Icon number 7. I believe that only leaves one more for us. Again, unfortunately, I don't think I can check because I don't have the manifest for it yet. But that's actually about to change because right over here... Gonna open this, and we get an Eastern Masterpiece Part 1. And I think that actually completed our Eastern Masterpiece Part 1. Let me check. That actually, to save you a lot of time, it didn't. We have one more to go. Ah, Cooney, and I see you brought a friend with you on this visit. Yes, sir. This is my new friend. His name is Mutt. Well, then, you're just in time to hear my tale of the lake. One of our grandest lakes in all of Nippon, Lake Harami. The ancient moon cave used to sit in the middle of the lake, but it was destroyed not even a year prior to the fierce battle between Orochi and the great Amaterasu. Since that terrible battle, the, ca the cave has remained inaccessible to all, but despite that, it remains on my duty to watch over this moon shrine. It is still dangerous in that area, so don't go near there. Do you understand, Kuni? Yes, sir, I do. Ha, uh, what's wrong? Well... I was near the ruins of the moon cave, completely absorbed in prayer, when I when I was there, demons came and stole my, the holy icons of Amaterasu. I have failed in my, in my duties. I can never face Amaterasu again. I can't believe they would do that. Okay, Matt, we need to find the holy icons for Mr. Mika. Okay. So, those graphics on the side of the screen that read Mika's holy icons finally make sense to you. We still have two more to find, but we already have five of them, just in going around Shinshu Field. So pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, I forget if there's actually anything out at the moon cave. Things are telling me yes, other things are telling me no. You can actually see the wreckage of the um, moon cave off in the distance, but I don't think there's actually... Oh no, there's a curse zone. I knew there was something out here, even if it wasn't that important, I'm wanting to say. Oh wow, there was a chest. Jeez, not that important my hind end. Jeez. Here I am just being like, oh, it's not really that important. And it's a holy icon, too. Oh, my God. I am just, oh, my God. I am failing in my duties as a Let's Player today. I am sorry. Now that we've checked out all of Shinshu Field, I've shown you guys around. We've done everything that we can do. What do you say we head over to Yakushi Village in the next episode? Next time on Okamiden, we are going to be doing just that. See you guys 
Den!